Today, I'm going to explain a new lesson. We're done with mammals. Uh, Ranim is a mammal, as we are all mammals now. Here, what's our new lesson about? Our new lesson is about benefits from animals. It's a very nice lesson. It's interesting. Now here, what can we see here? Who can tell me? Jujuni, what can you see? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Is it a chicken or a cow? No, here, here. Here I can see a chicken, some tuna, and, and butter. Yes. OK. Uh, we, uh, do you know that we get all these foods from animals? Yes. Okay, now I'm going to describe how and from which animal. Like here, uh, we're going to observe e each picture and name three meat foods. Here, what can you see? Uh, what? What can you see here? Which animals? A chicken and a, <clears throat> and a, a cow. cow. Can you name one food that we can get from the chicken? Chicken or meat? Okay. The chicken? Yes. The eggs. And chicken. Now you have to know that chicken and fish are considered as meat foods. So when I say meat, I mean chicken, I mean fish, okay? So chicken and fish are considered as meat food. From the cow, of course, we get milk and we get meat. Now here, what can you see here, Yalin Sufan? Press the unmute button, please. Meat. <laughs> meat. You can see meat here. Uh, from which animal we get the meat, Yalin? Fish, cow. No, from this, from this meat. This is red meat, right? From which animal? From the cow, from the sheep, and from the goat. Well, like, Juni is, is uh, surprised. She's looking at the meat like, you know, mm, how? And yes, this is red meat. We get the red meat from cows, sheep, and goats. Now here, Ibrahim, what can you see here, Ibrahim? A fish. A fish. <clears throat> and as I just told you, the chicken and fish are considered as meat food. So you see that we need animals. Uh, what can you see here, Yahsen Consul? I see chicken. Chicken. From which animal we get this chicken, this meat? From the chicken. What can you see here, Yajud Fawaz? Eggs. From which animal, Yajud? <coughs> the chicken. The chicken. chicken. Now, how do I need animals? Of course, I need animals. I need animals for many things. We're going to talk about them. I want uh, Aline to read. Yes, miss. Read. Okay, how do I need animals? Okay. Cows, sheep, chicken, and fish are a source of food. To us. Excellent. Now here, open your science book to page 73. And okay. Sensor. Sensor. We have to match each animal with what it provides us. First, we have what's what can you see? What is the first animal you can see? Sensor. Cow. Cow, a cow. Cow, cow, cow. Uh, a cow provides us with eggs. No. With what? Milk, milk, milk. Meat. And milk. And milk. Bravo. 
Which animal also provides us with meat, Yahsan? Sheep. Bravo. No. The sheep. Okay, Ali Aysan Bazoon. Which animal yes. uh, provides us with eggs from these animals? A chicken. The chicken, of course, not the cow. Or the uh, sheep. Or the fish. Iba, which animal provides us with milk? With cow. A cow. cow and what? Cow and sheep also. Yes. Okay. Uh, now here, I'm going to uh, solve them and please uh, solve them with me. Open your science book, 73, and let's solve them together. Meat, we get meat from the cow and from the sheep and from the chicken and from the fish. As I just told you that Chicken and fish are considered as meat foods. So draw a line. Done? Lean Salma, any question? No. Okay. Now, uh, eggs. Of course, we're going to draw a line to not the cow, to the chicken only. Now, with milk, it's the cow. We get milk from cows and sheep. Done? Any question? So we need animals. Um, what's that question? Do you know that we can also use donkey to move from one place to another? Yeah, we need animals all for transportation, for food. For clothing, we're going to talk Snakes about them now. Make that for clothes. Yes. Are you done now? I okay, was now. going from yesterday. Okay. Now, other ways that animals are important to us. Of course, there are many ways, not only for food. Like here, what can you see here? You can see a dog. Uh, we use the dog to guard houses. For example, here, what can you see here? We can see, you can see an ox, right? Here we can use yeah. the ox to plow farm lands. They help and they're much easier. Here we can see snake. Um, we use uh, the, the skin of the snake to make shoes and oh, bags. Okay, here, what can you see donkey? As I just told you that we use the donkeys to transport materials or we can use them to move from one place to another. Now here, what can you see? We can see the sheep. We use the, the wool of the sheep to make wool items or a jacket sometimes. Maybe you have some jackets that are made up of wool. Now this is a riddle. And as I just told you in the English, that a riddle is like a puzzle. Uh, Ranim, read it. Read the riddle. Okay. I am an animal with large size. I can tolerate or handle tolerate long riddles without water. Man uses me to travel. I'm sorry. Long distances. Distance in the desert. It's a camel. It's a, I'm a camel. So we also use camels to travel long distances. Ah. Yeah. I knew um, it because uh, from the English. <laughs> from the English. Now open your science book to page 79. And mm -hmm. let's practice. So hold up. Can you name the animals that you can see here? Just name them. Okay. We have frogs and turtles. Turtles. And bear. Bear. Yes, frogs bear and, and turtles cow. and bear and snake. Fish. <laughs> and 
This is called the swordfish and blowfish. So swordfish and blowfish are compound words, <laughs> as we just learned in the English. Okay. A parrot. A parrot. Bravo, Huda. Now, we have to classify these animals into five groups. Alice, can you tell me the five groups of animals that we've learned about? Mammals. Jude Fawaz, you can help. Yes, which page? Okay. 79. Mammals. Mammals. Um, we're... Um, Alice, you can still we're, say we're birds. Reptiles, birds. Reptiles. Frog. Frog is Fishes. an amphibian. Okay, the frog is an amphibian. It's in the amphibian group. Okay. I know that it's a new word, but we're going to learn it this way. So the five groups are right: mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, which is a frog. And fish. Amphibians have moist skin. So now, before I start, we've learned uh, why do we need animals, right? We need animals for clothing, for moving from one place to another, for food. Do you have any question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, now I'm going to ask Noor Hassan. Noor Hassan, which, uh, which animal should I put under the group of mammals? Mammal? Should I put a fish? No. What should I put? Bear. Bravo. Bear. So write letter C or write bear or just write letter C under mammals. Okay. Uh, Nurhan, which animal should I put under the group of birds? What? Which animal should I write under the group of birds? Should I write the frog? No. Letter G? Letter G, the parrot. Sorry. Excellent. Um, Ali Jawad, which animal should I write under the group of reptiles? Ali Jawad. Help. Under the group of reptiles. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Which animal should I write under the group of reptiles? Is it a fish? The turtle? Turtle and snake. Bravo, Ali Jawad. Turtle and snake. Ali Aysan Bazoun. Which animal is an amphibian? Um. The frog. The frog, excellent. Hamad uh, Khalifa, which animal should I write under the group of fish? Yes, under the group of fish. Um, uh, what? Which animals should I write under the group of fish? Okay, can I tell you something when you're done? Frog. Frog, frog under fish. Ranim, tell me what. Uh, yesterday, my mom was in the car and she saw a big uh, snake. <laughs> Miss number F. Letter Miss F. Number, uh, letter F. Bravo, letter F and letter E. So now I'm going to repeat. Uh, Mahdi, which animal should I write under the group of mamas? Mahdi. 
Okay, Iba, which animal should I write under the group of mammals? What, what? What, what? Mahdi, which animal under the group of mammals? Bear. Bear, bravo. <clears throat> Thank you, Mahdi. Iba, which animal under the group of birds? Iba, which animal under the group yes. of birds? Yes. Which letter? F. No, this is a fish. Yes. Birds. Letter G. It's a parrot. Uh, under the group of reptiles, yeah, since rule. Huh? Under the yes, group of reptiles, what should I write? Which letters or letter? B. B, which is a turtle, and what else? A. And D. Oh, and D. D is a snake. Yeah. Alice, yeah, Alice. Which animal is an amphibian? A frog, so write letter A. And the fish, we have letters F and letter, letter F and E. Letter F is called a blowfish. So when you see this fish, the name of this fish is a blowfish. And, and letter E is called a sword fish. You're done? Any question? No. No. Okay. This is our lecture. Now I want you to ask each other some questions. Tell me, 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 but yes. when you speak, I'm going to mute everyone. Please let's stay muted. Ranim, press the unmute button and you join. Yeah. Okay. Who's your favorite pet from the and why? What? What? Who's your favorite pet and why? What's your favorite pet and why? Explain everything My about the pet that you're going to choose. And my favorite pet is a puppy because it's cute and it's silly. And before, but I had I had a puppy, but someone stood in the middle of the ride. I didn't say okay. you, <laughs> you have to tell us yeah, if it's a reptile, if it's a mammal. Yes. It's a mammal. It's a mammal. Why is it a mammal, Yajud? Because it because it kisses with its lungs. And it has fur. And blah, blah, blah. Okay, now Aleen and Jude are muted. Aleen, ask Hussain Surur. You are next, Ali Aysam. Yeah. Aleen, ask Hussain Surur. Where is Hussain Surur? What can we benefit from cow? What? What can we benefit from cow? Or why yeah. do we need cows? For milk yeah. and meat. Meat and what? And milk. What yes. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Now, Alisan Bassoon yeah. will ask yeah. Jude yeah. Fawaz. Everyone, please stay muted. Alisan Bassoon, Jude Fawaz. What can the sheep give you? Meat. And also wool. We can use the wool of the sheep for clothing. Yeah. Excellent. Now I want Lean Salman to ask Lean Sufan. Hey, teacher. Yes, Ali Aysan Bazoon. We have a baby cat. You have a baby cat? You have a kitten? Nice. Okay, Lin Salman asking Sufan. Okay. Okay. Um, 
What do mammals eat? What do mammals eat? This is a long story. Yes. Change the question. <laughs> it's not a story, teacher. It's a story because uh, different mammals eat different foods. There are a lot of mammals. There are a lot of mammals. Okay. We are the mammals. I'm going to say one mammal what to eat. Okay. Can say a brain. Yeah, ask her. Mm. What do I look up mammals? Mammals are like cows, sheep, cats, dogs. Mm. We are mammals. Okay. What do a dog eat? This is an easy question. Uh, why don't you uh, ask uh, what do mamas use to breathe? Yes. Lungs. They use the lungs to breathe. Yes. Huda, ask Nurhan. Humans are mamas or reptiles. Humans are mammals or reptiles? Mammals. Why? Because they they feed they feed their babies. Their because they feed their babies milk. They hold their babies inside their body. Okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. Karim, uh, you're going to ask Ali Jafar. Okay. Okay, miss. Go ahead. Um... What does the mammal give you? What does mammal What, what does mammal give us? I mean, mammal, no, you uh, mean uh, uh, let's say cow or sheep or chicken. Cow. Yes, yeah, chicken. chicken. Okay, chicken. Egg and meat. Egg and meat. Bravo, Ali Jafar. Thank you. Now, Ibrahim, I want you to ask. Iba. Ba. Iba. Yes. Yes. Yeah, let's start. Okay. What? Why are you talking? Only. Tab, I will help you, Ibrahim. For example, how can we benefit from the sheep? Iba, how can we benefit from the sheep? What? How can we benefit from the sheep? Uh, we can use its uh, wool and it provides us with meat and uh, milk. Okay, this is our lesson here. I told you that we take from, we get from cows and sheep and chicken and fish, we get meat because chicken and fish are um, considered as meat foods. Eggs, of course, only from chicken and milk. We can get the milk from cows and sheep. Of course, not from chicken. We use the dogs. Uh, dogs are used to guard houses. We use uh, ox to plow farmland. 
snakes. We use this, the skin of the snake uh, to make uh, shoes and bags. We use donkeys to move from place to place, which means transportation. We use easy, easy. They're very easy, but they're nice. It's nice to learn about them. We use uh, the wool of the sheep to make wool items. Skin to make bags and shoes. Yes. We use the skin of the snake to make bags and, and what, Jude? Jude. Jude disappeared. She was talking and finally she vanished. Yes, Jude, what? And, and the crocodile. Yes, and the crocodile, the skin of the crocodile, yes. Of yes. course. Yes. And we can uh, make... Uh, Make what? Make some. Do you want to make a uh, bag using the skin of a snake? Are you no, going to, no. to get a real snake and cut the skin of the snake and make a bag? Teacher, that's a teacher. Fish yes, wait, wait. Teacher, yes, I let me listen to Hsen. Hsen, tell me. Um, once my grandpa cut a snake <clears throat> part of his hands. Why? Why? I don't know why he killed. <laughs> okay, so now uh, we know or we learned about some benefits from animals, right? So we're done. Yeah, we're, right? we're uh, done. Yes. We're Do done. you have Did any question? No. Did you? Can I tell you? Oh.